Can I just start by saying thank you to every single person that's here this morning. We sent the call out saying be outside the Royal Courts of Justice this morning to show your support for Julian Assange. And I hope on this occasion the British media have turned up as well because uh, it's been markedly obvious how great the reporting has been all around the world of the appalling injustice that's been done to Julian and how little the British media have covered it. It's a story right on their doorsteps. But I guess for the British establishment, the whole question of Julian Assange is just a little bit embarrassing. And so I think we should also say a huge thank you to the steadfastness of all those that have organised the campaign for Julian, and in particular, our love and solidarity to Stella for the work that she's put in and the obvious stress and strain that she has been under. Now, Julian is currently in Belmarsh Prison, which is a maximum security prison. It is an awful place, it is awful conditions. It's not the kind of prison that should exist anywhere. I want prisons to be supportive, corrective and reformative, not punishing and destroying of people's characters and lives. And before that, he was in uh, exile in the Ecuadorian embassy and I think we should say thank you to that government of Ecuador that was prepared to support Julian. And then you ask yourself the question, why was it they were pre prepared to stick their necks out so far and support Julian? It was because he was telling the truth about what was going on around the world. He was telling the truth about the US involvement in Afghanistan and Iraq. He was also telling the truth about corporate greed and corruption around the world, stealing the resources from the poorest countries and the poorest people in the world. He was telling the truth about the corruption in the way in which our media conspires with governments and uh, the military to hide the truth about the horrors of war. And when we held an event in solidarity with Julian in the National Press Club in Washington, we held it in exactly the same place where the film was exposed, where an order was given, a direct order was given by the US military to kill civilians on the street in Iraq during the Iraq war. If only Julian were alive in reality in front of us, alive to give the reporting rather than being stuck in that horrible cell in Belmarsh, what would he be saying? What would he be saying about the bombardment of Rafa and all the destruction of life all across the Gaza Strip? What would he be saying about the highly sophisticated highly sophisticated weaponry that is being used and has so far taken the lives of almost 30,000 Palestinian people. We need that strength, that skill, that determination of Julian Assange to get to the truth around the world. He is a real journalist. Real journalists take risks. Real journalists go for the truth, whatever the cost. That has cost the lives of 80 journalists in Gaza already and in many other conflicts around the world. What we need is Julian's voice to be out there. So the idea that Julian should be prosecuted under the Espionage Act in the United States, the same legislation that was used against Daniel Ellsberg and others that tried to bring truth to the US body politic is beyond appalling. So this court today has an opportunity an opportunity to ensure that Julian's case is heard, that Julian's search for justice is achieved, and that ultimately Julian is able to walk free. But it also depends on the political process and atmosphere in the United States. President Biden could end his incarceration in two minutes. He could withdraw the whole case against Julian Assange, if he believes in press freedom, as he says he does, if he believes in a pluralistic democracy, as he says he does, then let Julian go, let Julian tell the world the truth of the horrors and inequality that exist on this planet. So we're here.
here today in support of Julian. We're here tomorrow in support of Julian. And I say to the court, very gently and very persuasively, whatever, whatever your decision, we ain't going away. We are supporting Julian as long as it takes. And a huge thank you to all those people all around the world that have spoken up and said so much in support of Julian. And let's be of good strength, of total determination, that we will ensure that Julian Assange is free to tell the truth and help to bring about that decent, more equal, more sustainable, more peaceful planet. Thank you, Julian, for all you've done, and thank you for all you will do. Thank you very much.